Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very first ever Shein haul. I mean, how have I got this far without doing a Shein haul? Seriously. Like, and let me tell you, I did some damage. I spent some serious money on Shein and I, but I got some serious stuff. I got so much stuff with the money that I spent. I can't believe how much money, I'm sorry I'm playing with my head, how much money I, how much value for money I got and let me tell you I got some good stuff good good stuff um I really wasn't expecting much from the quality but my god love it so let's get out of all that let's let's just not carry on with all this like drabble let's just get straight into the haul that's why you're here I'm gonna start off with the things that I got for me and then I'll move on to the things I got for the kids so that if you're not interested in the kids stuff you can skip it um if you are, you can stay. Totally up to you. So yeah, let's get on with it. So the first thing that I picked up for me, and I am going to insert pictures. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to do it on this side. So I am going to insert pictures just because Obviously, because we're going away, my house is upside down. I just don't have anywhere to film um, try on bits, but I will put pictures of everything that I bought over on Instagram. Um, so yeah, the first bit that I picked up was this gorgeous white off the shoulder. Um, is it bordery on glaze? Is that, is it bordery? Yeah, something like that. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful tea dress and it's got a stretched back. So it's got, all, it's all ruched at the back. I absolutely love it. This looks stunning on, it looks amazing. And I can't remember what anything costs. So I am going to put that on the screen as well. Um, but it was, yeah, it was just, I was so happy when this came because my if you know anything about Shein, they send they can send things in different like in different packages and what have you. And when this came, didn't realise what it was, and I just threw the package to one side. And then a bigger bag came, and I was like, "Where the hell's my dress?" And then I realised it was in the other bag. But oh my god, love this so so much! Cannot wait to wear this on holiday, all tanned, feeling all bronzed. Like it literally just sits like. The, oh, so nice it is so so nice I love it so so much and I think I want to say it was around 15 pounds something like that it wasn't expensive at all and it's such good quality it's definitely I know Shein is meant to be sort of like a fast fashion kind of thing but for me the quality of this this is gonna last like I can't see this falling apart I can't see it I can't see me having any issues with it i I just love it, it's such good quality. The next thing that I picked up was this crocheted beach cover up and this, oh my goodness, this looks beautiful on. I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it but and I, I, I took it out of the packaging and I was like, oh no, oh no, 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 I don't like that. But you know what, I put it on and I was like, oh, I love it, I love it. it is Oh, it's so nice. It's beautiful. So yeah, picked this up. Um, I can't remember what size I got this in. I feel like I got everything in like medium to large, which is 12 to 14 ordinarily on Shein. Um, so yeah, and it's just, it's a gorgeous length. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. I think for the time, that, the time of year that we're going away, it's going to be perfect. Um, I might need a little bit of a, not a windbreaker, but something just to take that bit of chill off when the sea breeze hits us. Um, so yeah, I think that's absolutely stunning. And again, I think this was really good value for the price as well like loved it absolutely love this piece and I can't wait to wear it this next piece it is a midi it's meant to be a beach cover-up right but hit me like it's it's a little bit see-through but I think with nude underwear it'd be fine but it's got a gorgeous split up the side and to me when I tried this on I wasn't getting beach cover-up vibes I was getting like really nice casual like glass pino by the beach at sunset sort of vibes like with some wedges on my hair and makeup all done this is stunning and I just I don't want it I don't want it to just be a beach cover-up like I love this this is absolutely gorgeous the material feels so nice is that like silky sort of feel obviously it's not silk it's sheen but yeah it's got that slinky silky sort of feel but not the satin slinky which is like this 
um yeah it's just nice and i think it's a gorgeous color i really 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 love green at the minute i'm trying to incorporate quite a bit of green into my wardrobe into the kids wardrobe because i just love it i just think it's a beautiful color and i do think that for blondes I do think green really sets blonde hair off, so that's just me pointing that out there. I don't know if anyone agrees, but I love it on blonde, and I can't wait to wear this. I think it's stunning, and again, I will put pictures of it all over on my Instagram because I'm feeling, now that I'm starting to lose a bit of weight, I'm feeling a bit more confident. I am feeling like the posing queen. I'm just, I'm just all over it. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking loads of pictures this holiday because I'm feeling good, and I'm gonna look super good in my beach dress just saying so the next bit that i got was this gorgeous white dress with cobalt blue flowers on this is a midi dress so it's like i think it comes to my knees at the front and then it's longer at the back it is stunning it is so nice it's not going to be see-through because it also has an extra layer underneath to make sure that there are no skin slippages it's beautiful it's got adjustable straps it's got a zip at the back and i just think for going out for dinner in the evening it's going to be beautiful i cannot wait to wear this and again i love blue i love blues i love greens i'm really getting into color at the minute i don't know what's wrong with me like ordinarily if anybody knows me i'm like black cream white gray that's that's just me that's my that's my color palette for clothes but really feeling it i'm like getting into into like the color vibe maybe it's a new me maybe it's like middle age me just screaming at me to be like pick some color up put something in your head like just get something on your body that is not black white or gray anyway so yeah pick that up absolutely love it Next thing that I picked up is more of a casual dress for going out. You're not going to be able to see it holding it up because I've got black on. Um, but basically, you'll see it in the picture. It's basically this black, uh, long, sort of like ankle length dress. It's got a split up the side and it's got a cut out in the middle. It's got a silver ring detail in here. You're not going to be able to see that. You'll see it much better on the picture. Um, but I thought this would be really great for um, a more casual evening if we're staying at the hotel and we're not going out for dinner anywhere. I thought that this would be a more suitable outfit just with some sliders just get myself downstairs get to kids club mini disco that sort of thing and that's it jobs are good in that's what i'm thinking that's what my head's at with this dress i feel like it could be really it's a really nice casual piece but i also think that if i wanted to dress it up i could wear it with heels put some jewelry on and it'll look lovely i could probably also wear this with a bikini as a bit of a cover up um if i wanted to but i'm probably just gonna wear it at the hotel for casual night who knows but yeah a great piece and i wasn't even sure i was gonna like this because it does have obviously the cut out a bit of mum like a bit of midriff going off um but i was feeling myself in it i was feeling good feeling so so good the next thing that i picked up was a bikini now i've heard mixed reviews about the sheer bikinis um this one fits but um one of my friends actually said to me that her sheen bikini she bought loads of sheen bikinis um for her honeymoon and she was like they literally they were falling apart by the end of it and i'm like oh my god this is not a good sign but it's fine we're gonna roll with it and see what happens it's gonna be fine i'm not just taking like sheen bikinis i've got other swim swimsuits as well so we're just going to roll with it it's going to be okay so i picked up this gorgeous green i told you i'm getting a bit of color obviously you'll see it better on the picture um but yeah it's just this gorgeous sort of like a front tie wrap around i'm not showing you very well am i just look at the picture um but it's like this gorgeous um front tie wrap detail my washing machine's beeping i'm not sure if you can hear that let me go and turn it off because that's going to irritate the life out of me. Okay, that's off. It's not going to bother me anymore. Um, but yeah, so it just ties around the front. Um, it's got padding in it, which I'm probably going to have to take out because it makes my boobs look lumpy. But you know what? It's going to be fine. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I was looking around for then. I think I was looking for my drink. I'll get it in a minute. Um, yeah, as you can see from the picture, absolutely gorgeous. And not sure i'm brave enough to be taking swimsuit pictures but maybe we shall see we'll see i've been watching a lot of videos on tiktok recently about how to pose 
in bikinis if you're feeling uncomfortable about your tub. So I just need to get Ross on board with the photography side of that. I'll be like literally two minutes before I need to take the picture. I'm like, look at this, this is what you need to be doing. So I've got them all saved on my TikTok. Like just say, this is what you need to do. <laughs> He's gonna hate me. He's gonna hate me after this week, like this week away. Oh my God. So I don't think I told you guys the drama. Don't like, just excuse this, right? So we had a bit of a mishap. Um, I'll tell you a bit of a story about it just so that you're aware and just like get why it's sticking out. So basically, Ross was messing around <laughs> and I was falling asleep while he was trying to talk to me and he got his beard trimmer and I heard him turn it on and he was just trying to scare me and because I heard it, like I jumped and I headbutted the trimmer and took a big chunk of my hair out. So the bit that's growing back underneath here is making this bit stick up and I cannot get it to go down. It is driving me insane. So that's what that is. So just please ignore it. <laughs> please ignore it. <laughs> it's awful. But yeah, so bargain bikini, love it. Another colourful item, I picked up this gorgeous green dress and again it sort of like ties around the boobs at the front, it's got a cut out below the boobs so you've got like a little bit of like under boob sort of maybe showing, not the under boob, you know like where your sternum is, I'm getting clinical now, where your sternum is, so it's got your sternum on show. <laughs> but yeah it's strapper it's got a zip at the back again it's got adjustable straps loving this for Shein like price point wise you'd get the same thing in Primark but it wouldn't have adjustable straps so it'd be bloody awkward and then you'd have to like start on picking it and restitching it to make the straps long enough for you or short enough for you whatever nightmare Shein they got adjustable straps they're moving with the times like they've got it they know what they're doing um but yeah I thought get something in green it's got this sort of like it's not a lettuce leaf but it's got like a bit of a frilled hem at the bottom love it absolutely gorgeous and again just a bit of colour like with a tan this is just gonna look fab. I'm gonna I'm very aware of the fact that I'm pale and I'm gonna have to take some fake time on holiday with me. And I'm just I'm gonna be fake tanning every other day, aren't I? Because the chlorine in the pool's gonna strip it all off. So <laughs> God help the maids in our hotel because yeah, they're gonna have some brown like tan sheets to be dealing with. <laughs> Poor things. It'll be fine. The next dress that I picked up, I bloody love this dress. The disappointing thing is, it's too small. So this, when I looked at the reviews, I, I did what I was supposed to do. I looked at all the measurements. I looked at all the reviews for the outfits and what people had said, and it was coming up true to size. Everything else has been perfect. It has been true to size. But this, I ordered this in a large, and it's just too small. And I'm so gutted because I love this dress. Like, part of me wants to keep it, because by the summer, I'll be able to fit in it. So I don't know, maybe I will. Maybe I will do that because I do love this dress. It is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I'm just so annoyed. I'm so annoyed, but I do think I'm gonna keep it. I do, I do think I'm gonna keep it because I do, I do genuinely believe, I know that I'm gonna fit in it come summer. So I might keep it. Let me know down below what you think I should do because I'm in two minds and I really want to, but then like, I'm like, oh, I should just get a refund. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. The next thing that I picked up was another beach cover up. Now, I really, really liked this when I saw the picture and when I tried it on, I just... I wasn't convinced, um, so I'll show you the picture, and I don't know if it's just because of like obviously the front, it makes, it does make my chest look massive, and I'm just, I'm not sure it's a vibe for me, I just, I'm just not convinced that it is, I do really like it, I think it's a really gorgeous little like throw on piece, but I'm just not convinced, um, and I think this is going to have to go back. I've never returned anything to Shein. Obviously, it's my first my first order. So who knows how that's going to go. Let me know down below if it's hard or not. Because, yeah, I'm kind of worried about that. But I might try it on again with my swimsuit. Just see how I feel. But I think this one's going to have to go back. I just don't think it's going to work. Um, 
but no, gorgeous, it is a gorgeous piece, I just don't think it works for my body type, um, but I do really, really love it. Next piece of swimwear that I picked up was this swimsuit, and it's all attached, it's just got bits at the front, and I really liked this, I think it's really lovely, it's got silver hardware detailing on it, I think it's going to be really sturdy. Um, last year, well the last time we went away, I bought a bikini with this sort of back on it, and it was plastic, it was from Primark, and it bloody snapped, I was fuming. Um, so it's a little bit small around my boob area, again this is a large and everything said that it was true to size and it was going to be great, it's, but I'm just not feeling it and it's a bit low on, on the tummy area, um, so I just I feel a bit vulnerable. That's probably the best way to put it. I feel very vulnerable in this. So I think this one's going back. But, I mean, quality-wise, it's fab. Maybe I should have sized up. Maybe I should have got an extra large. Um, but, yeah, I, I think true to size, maybe not, but quality wise absolutely lovely and I think I think I think it'd be fine I can't I, I'm looking at all these pieces and I'm just not getting like the feeling that they're going to fall apart and that they're going to be an issue they're all really good quality so yeah it's definitely one to look for and it did look stunning on, on like on like people that had posted pictures of how they looked in it it looked absolutely stunning um so it's just unfortunate that I just don't feel very comfortable in it but it is a really gorgeous piece and then last but not least was this gorgeous two-piece set. Now, as you can see on screen, it's very different to what I would ordinarily wear. And do you know what? I couldn't believe this. I've got this in a large and it's too big. And it, it is really, really nice. It's just it's just too big for me. Like the weight of the front of it, so because it's like got a lot of gathered material at the front, it's very heavy. So it need I needed something smaller and tighter to hold it all in um so that it didn't fall down <laughs> but no i really really liked this and again it's really good it's it's decent i wouldn't say it's really good quality it's decent quality it's a jersey material um so it probably has got potential to be a little bit see-through you are going to get a vpl so you need you either need to wear a g-string or you need to wear um go on your seamless underwear um your invisible seamless underwear um, because you are going to see it through that i'm so sad that i've got to send this back because it's too big if it was too small i could have been like ah, i can fit into it later on like the other dress this one no chance i'm not i'm not getting bigger so yeah this just isn't and this is this isn't gonna fit but yeah it's from their sheen sexy range so yeah i was feeling feisty and sexy but it comes with a boot tube as well um, but that's huge, like, it, it's massive, it's enormous on me, it just hangs off me at the front, it's not great, not a great look, but really nice piece. So, that is it for my stuff, so if you aren't interested in watching the kids bits, that's fine, I'll see you in another video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification if you want to see more from me, and those of you that are staying, let's get on with the kids stuff. So... There's going to be no order to this kid's stuff. It is literally, it's in a bag in front of me and I'm just going to be taking it out bit at a time and just showing you what I've got. So it could be for Millie, it could be for Max, could be beach wear, could be nighttime wear, could be cover-ups, could be anything. This. Oh, it's so cute. Look, look at this little beach cover-up. Obviously, it's see-through. It's a beach cover-up, but it's fine. It's gorgeous. It's like a, a chiffon material. It's got pink and peach butterflies all over it. Obviously, this is for Millie. She loves this. So, she put this on on Sunday. She'd got a swimsuit on. She'd got this on. She was like, Mommy, we're going on holiday today. I was like, no, babe, we're not going on holiday today. I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but we are not going today. You need to take that off. And she's like, no, I want to leave it on. So, this is what she wore on Sunday around the house. But she loves it. She loves butterflies. She loves pink. She is literally the most girly girl you are ever going to meet. She loves it. She's just obsessed. So yeah, but, and I'm pretty sure this was like five pounds. It was an absolute bargain. As I've said before, I'm going to put all the prices on screen and I will link everything below that I can as well. So yeah, hopefully you can get your hands on it because there's some good kids bit. Next bit was a swimsuit for Max. Now, how adorable is that? I mean, oh, 
I just love kids swim stuff like it's super super cute and he looks so sweet in it um but yeah I got this I think I got this in like two to three because Mike's is a big boy like he's he's huge like he's not fat he's just huge He's really tall, he's really forward for his age, and um, so I'm just finding myself having to get in bigger clothes. He's just huge. Um, towers over the kids in his in his uh, in his nursery group. He's just yeah, it's just something else. But just I just thought this was really fun, really bright. He's gonna love it. He's gonna look super sweet on the beach. We're gonna be able to spot him, that's for sure. And it did come with a matching hat. Not taking it out of the packet because he doesn't like hats, and I just need to change my battery. So. Apologies if I move slightly, I've just changed my battery. But yeah, it comes with a matching hat, I've not taken it out of the packet because he doesn't like wearing hats, which is gonna be a bit of a nightmare, but we're gonna take it with us anyway, see if we can do it. I'm sure I'll take it. It's a little bit of a cap thing going on. Yeah, it's a little bit of a cap with like a dangly bit so he doesn't burn his neck. I don't think he's gonna wear this, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Maybe Millie can encourage him to wear it. We shall see. Next up is this gorgeous little dress for nighttime, and oh my goodness, how adorable is this? Again, this is another one of Millie's favourites. She loves it. She feels very girly. She feels like a princess. She loves the roses on it. She loves flowers. She loves making perfume, and it's just such a feminine shape. She's just, I'm getting like 50s vibes, 50s and 60s vibes from this shape dress, and I love it, I'm here for it, and she looks so cute in it, just, yeah, I just love her in a dress. Next thing, I picked up another swimsuit, this is for Max again, so it's just a white one with dinosaurs all over it, this one didn't come with a hat, but that's fine, um, but yeah, it's just super, super sweet, how cute is that? Feels a bit small compared to the other one, but you tried it on, it does fit, so it's fine. Um, but again, I think this was an absolute bargain. So if you are looking for swim stuff, get yourself over to Sheer. Because let's face it, kids grow out of things so fast. You may as well. Another swimsuit. So this is a bikini that I picked up for Mill. So Mill likes to wear a bikini sometimes, but I don't want her wearing like ultra revealing bikinis obviously because she's four um so she's got this which has got like a really cute little like overlay like layered overlaid thing there and then it comes with these cute little pants oh god that have got like the fish scales on it it's very like mermaid-esque she really loves a mermaid um, she loves the little mermaid at the minute. That's the story that we're reading at night time. So yeah, it's got little frills on to just cover up like the tops of her legs just so that there's not not as much on show as if like it wasn't there. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Absolutely gorgeous. She loves it. She absolutely loves it. And I don't blame her. So adorable. If they had it in like in my size, I'd have bought it too. So it could be like full matchy matchy. For Max, for night time, I've just bought an absolute ton of cohorts and the first one that I've picked up out of the bag is this little brown number and look how cute so it's got a cute little button down shirt it's got some little shorts that go with it and he's just gonna look super sweet in it it's kind of a linen fabric so it's gonna be nice and breathable he's not gonna be too warm in it and yeah I think again I think this was like six pounds like it was nothing I just think Jesus Christ like how is this even possible like how I know how, that's why, like, it's not, I'm not even going to go into it, I'm not even going to go into it, I'm not, but yeah, £6-ish for a gorgeous brown linen set, love it. Next one is another co-ord for Max, and essentially this is probably going to be for one of our nights just around the hotel, and it's just a basic t-shirt, obviously blue, grey and white. I don't know why it took me so long to figure out that that colour was grey. My head's just not working at the minute. And a cute little pair of shorts. So super sweet, super affordable. Again, I think I think the majority of these little cohorts were around £6. They were, yeah, they were dirt cheap. They were so good. And it feels really good quality as well. So I think he's going to look dead cute in these. Um, one thing that I did get that wasn't sheer is... <sighs> And I love these for the kids. So I've got them both. So um, is it Igor? Igor jellies? Um, so these are Max's. And I think he's just going to look super cute. He's also got some high top converse, some white ones. Because, oh my God, little boys, high top converse with his shorts on. You know he's going to look cute. He's going to look so, so cute. 
So yeah, go in there's just as a bit of, and Millie's got the pink ones. I'll show you the pink ones. Look at those. Oh, they're cute. She loves them. She loves them. Absolutely adores them. Now this, this is amazing. I'm going to try and put it all together so that you can see it. My tumble dry is now going off. <clears throat> so it's a little shirt with a vest underneath and it's like paisley. Wait. And little shorts. I mean, oh my God. You'll see a picture of it here, but oh my God. Tell me he is not gonna look cool AF in this cohort. I love it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, Ross is gonna hate that, but I love it. That is amazing. He needs it. I think this was more like nine pounds, but so good. The only thing I'm disappointed about is that this isn't a t-shirt. I would much rather this was a t-shirt than a vest, just because, personal preference, I just don't like vests. There's just something about them, and I just I just don't like it. So yeah, I wish it was a t-shirt, but it's fine. I might even be able to pick him up a plain little white t-shirt from somewhere that he can stick on underneath instead of this. So it'll be fine either way. But yeah, super cute little piece. Oh, it's gonna look so grown up. Mm. So next little piece we have is this gorgeous little striped top. Again, another casual piece, but I don't wanna dress the kids up too much over now. I mean, Millie loves to dress up. Max, like he's a little boy. He just wants to rough and tumble and play everywhere. So yeah, got in these gorgeous little black shorts with this gorgeous little striped t-shirt. He's gonna look so, so cute in this. I mean, he's gonna look cute in everything. I mean, I'm biased, but he's a bloody gorgeous little boy. Let me tell you. Um, so yeah. I just want something easy for him to wear and just something that he's not going to be too hot in. Um, but yeah, so another gorgeous little cord. I told you everything I got from Max was just a cord, just because it's easy. Put it together, job done. Next one. Look at this little shirt. Look at this little pinstripe shirt. Oh, it's not pinstripe, is it? It's just striped. But my God, so, so cute. And then some little cream linen shorts to go with it. These are super smart. Cannot wait for him to put these on. Again, little converse. Ah, he's gonna look so cute. This is all you're gonna get from this video. It's me just going, oh my God, oh my God. I just feel like as soon as I see like baby clothes, even though I'm done having kids, I can't help but sit there and be like, maybe just one more. No, 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 no more. No more. I think this is the last bit for Max um, that I got from Shein. So I got him another gorgeous little cord. So it's just a gorgeous green top. Told you I was liking green. And some green shorts. Maybe I'll wear the green and white dress and get Max in this. I think Millie's got a little green outfit as well. We could all do green together. <laughs> that would be so cringe. Ross would be fuming. He would be so angry. It's not his vibe, matchy matchy is not his vibe, doesn't like it. But yeah, I think that's super cute, super casual. Again, for another night around the hotel, if we're just going to mini disco and we wanna relax. On to some exciting girly stuff. We have this gorgeous little dress. And do you know what I'm getting from this dress? Do you know in Mary Poppins when they jump through the, the chalk drawing and they've got those gorgeous dresses on? I know that they're white, but they do have sort of like a candy stripe sort of feel to them. And this is just giving me candy vibes. And I just feel like she's a little lollipop kid. Just love it. Stunning. And I'm pretty sure this was like a fiver. I mean, it's such good quality. It's not it's not crappy material, it's not see-through, it's it's good. Like I wish I got this in other colours. They do do it in like multiple colours, but this was Millie's favourite. So I do let Millie, when I'm shopping for Millie's clothes, I do let her have a lot of input in what she wants. Obviously, it's all within reason, but I do let her have say in what she wants to wear. Um, so yeah, she does get to pick her own clothes and she loved this. Next up is this gorgeous little blue and white striped dress. So this is more of a thicker linen material. Again, it's got a tie waist and it's got a bit of a triangle detail here on the top. 
and it, this is she looks so sweet in this I cannot wait to see her in this when she's got a little bit of color to her and she's got her hair all done and she's got this on and she like I've already said the girl loves a dress the girl loves a dress so I feel like I'm just repeating myself over and over again but I can't help it can't help it it is what it is so yeah bargain dress again another one of Millie's picks very sort of like a Spanish senorita kind of vibe so a little red dress with some white hearts on it it's layered layered um so it's got a bit of a flow to it it is stretchy at the top so it's got some give it's got buttons down the front and it's just super sweet it's really long on her as well it's sort of like mid calf length and she just she looks adorable in it she loves it absolutely loves it she didn't want to take it off but she had to to all she keeps saying to me over the last like sort of week or so as this stuff's been coming in she's been like mommy can I wear my holiday dresses now can we go on holiday today can I wear my holiday dresses and I'm like no baby you can't wear them I'm so sorry and she's like but I want to wear them she does keep coming in and having a look at them and she's like I just want to look at the dresses mommy I just want to look I'm like okay <laughs> she's just so girly the next one that I picked up was this now adorable so again I've got the white bardo dress as well so we can matchy matchy in this all day long she loves it it's so sweet it's sort of like a bit of a cheesecloth material it has got a dress underneath it so again no issues with it being see-through it's fab and it's stretchy on the top so no issues there gorgeous plenty of elastic in the arms and it's got little straps just to keep it up so it doesn't fall down because it's just it's bound to it and if it didn't have those it would definitely fall down and that's not appropriate so yeah good thinking Sheen. love this absolutely love it and they do do it in other colors as well we're on to millie's green outfit so this is more of like a daytime beach thing but i suppose if we had like a little denim jacket um she could chuck a denim jacket on with it and she'd look really really cute so it's a pair of green shorts and a little green crop top let me get rid of those because you can't see so yeah a little green crop top super super cute it's got a little tie bow detailing on the straps and it's just it's just adorable it's so so sweet um she really likes it i really like it again like i said we can wear it in the daytime we can wear it with a little denim jacket and her little jellies and she'll look super cute she will i know she will you're gonna hate me aren't you but it's fine it's fine it's kids clothes if you're a mum you're a mum and you you know so the next bit the last bit that I got was another beach cover-up for Mill and it's just got this spotted sort of print on it and obviously cover-up it's see-through but it's nice and lightweight it's really good quality it's got elastic around the waist so nice and nice and loose um it's got a v-neck on it and yeah it's just super cute and I want to say this was like £3.50 or something bizarre like that it was like dead cheap dead dead cheap so really happy with it that is it for this haul so thank you so so much if you made it this far I know it's been a long one um so thank you for sticking with me if you made it this far if you did make it this far can you put a little sun emoji in the bottom so that I know that you made it this far if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified every single time that I upload as I said at the beginning I am on a weight loss journey so I am posting transformation Tuesdays every single week so if you're interested in that as well again subscribe hit the bell notification I post so many different things over on my channel I'm going for the layering technique with with my content I don't just stick to one thing so I've got a couple of things going on um over on my channel so yeah if you're interested if you liked me stick around and I'll see you in my next video bye